Now, developing news from KXAN Austin News. I'm David Scott. We are following rapid developments in Oak Hill near the Y. A big brush fire taking out homes, forcing others to evacuate. The wildfires have been scorching West Texas, are now in our backyard. The fire started this afternoon in the scenic Brook neighborhood of Oak Hill. Several homes caught fire. Many more are threatened. Firefighters from a dozen or more departments are working the scene. They're concentrating on the area of the Y, northwest of 290 and 71, telling neighbors if they feel threatened, they should leave. KXAN's Doug Shoup is live at the scene with the latest. Doug, fill us in. Well, David, this is still very much an aggressive firefight. At least five homes in that scenic brook subdivision did catch fire from this wildfire. At first, firefighters were using, obviously, their trucks as well as two Starflight helicopters to bring water in. Now, two C-130s have been brought in and are flying over, dropping fire retardant on this fire. APD's helicopter is also up. Now, very strong, gusty wind have fueled this fire. The fire began around 2 o'clock this afternoon and the flames quickly spread through about 50 acres. Again, at least five homes did catch on fire, one on Calibram and the other on Flintstone Cove. Dozens of people have been evacuated and there is a real concern among the neighbors who had to get out fast, leaving all of their belongings behind. Go! Everybody out of the house? All yeah, right? Yes, we're fine. We're worried about getting the old people out of that house over there because they won't come out. No, I didn't grab a hose or anything. I just, my first thing, instinct was to get out of there. Uh, right now, I'm just sort of trying to figure out if we're supposed to evacuate. We would like to do something to keep our house safe. We've got uh, three dogs and a baby on the way, so we're ready. I'm, I'm nervous, yes. Now, people who were evacuated were asked to gather at the Resource Center at Southwest Hills Community Church. It is best to avoid the Y in Oak Hill if you can today. That's because traffic is very heavy and westbound lanes on 290 are closed to traffic at this time. KXAN's Jared Wise continues our team coverage. He spoke with firefighters today about how they're battling these flames. Jared, what do they have to tell you? Well, Doug, that press conference ended just about 20 minutes ago here at the ACC Pinnacle Building here at the Y at Oak Hill. We can tell you there have been some massive C-130 tankers dropping flame retardant from the Texas Forest Service that have just arrived on scene. You can see about three or four of them flying around dropping that red retardant. Now, this fire is burning several hundred yards just to the west of this location, just to the west of the Y at Oak Hill. We can tell you right now the Y at the Oak Hill is shut down to traffic, both 290 and Highway 71. Now, the winds are gusting over 30 miles per hour. With the super dry conditions, officials are calling this the perfect storm. Winds are blowing from the south, pushing that farther fire farther away from the Y. It's about 70% contained at this time, but they are still fighting to try to put that out. More than 100 firefighters from several agencies and two Starflight helicopters, along with those C-130s, are still working to try to put that blaze out, which has already scorched about 100 acres. So far, 20 structures, which include homes, have been damaged. Five to eight of those have been significantly damaged. And most of the area in, along Scenic Drive has been evacuated at this time. We can tell you that we have seen a lot of residents along Highway 290 waiting out, trying to figure out if their property has been damaged or not. But we can tell you if there's any good news in all this at this time, we can tell you there have been no injuries reported at this time. But officials do tell us to try to avoid the Y at Oak Hill at any cost at this point until they get this fire more under control. And of course, we're going to have more information for you later in this newscast if we get some more information that develops. Reporting live in the Y and Oak Hill, Jared Wise, KXAN, Austin News.